When one has true devotion, a true feeling of love for the Supreme, for that divinity which is in the core of all existence, then that love that you have is a gift, a gift from divine being, a gift of the Sadguru. That love, that passion inside of you to know God, to know the infinite, to know the divine consciousness which is at the core of your being and to meld your individual self back into that core essence from which you have come. That is the deep goal of human life. Many people wander around not able to understand or achieve that goal, not understanding it. They try so many different things, hoping that they will fulfill them. And yet, even after great success and the fulfillment of their dreams, they find there is a certain restlessness inside, an emptiness. And that restlessness, that emptiness is both difficult and an opportunity because there is always a restlessness until the deep love in the core of the human heart is fulfilled. There is never a contentment until the separation of I and thou dissolves. There can be temporary contentments in the moment, but the mind never stays steady. The moment that contentment is enjoyed, it soon moves on and there's a restlessness again, a restlessness to achieve something, to find something, because there is a feeling inside every individual, a feeling of incompleteness, a desire for wholeness. And that wholeness is found when one finds the Atman, when one finds the beloved of one's heart, when one connects with your soul, your innermost self, and then finds the connection between that and the cosmic self of all beings, the unitary life force that expresses in countless different forms in creation. When one searches and searches with sincerity of heart, in that searching, moments of grace occur, moments where the separation of I and thou, the separation between yourself and all else that is, dissolves, even if a split second or a few minutes, you experience this dissolution. Maybe when you're with someone you love and you look in their eyes. Maybe when you're in nature and you feel your connectedness to the whole. Maybe deep in meditation where the love grows and the bliss opens your heart, you find that your sense of self, your consciousness moves beyond your 
isolation of individuality and moves in the totality, the wholeness of being, into the love which dissolves all separations. When this happens, you find that you are whole again. You are complete. This feeling creates a passion because you realize there is something very special, very profound, and access to it lies within you. It is the divine nature of your own being. And that access brings you to wholeness. And what happens as you get this access, you begin to experience a passionate love, an attachment to the divine essence, to that conscious, intelligent presence of infinite love, infinite compassion. And due to the grace of that one revealing to you its own nature, the intellect gives way to the heart and the love within. And that love within brings you to the shores of infinity, to the divinity that lies within your soul. And that feeling, that feeling of devotion, that bhakti, that is the... Following that is the simplest path to realizing the infinite love in the essence of your being. The path of the mind is one of neti neti, not this, not this. Observing and realizing all is not the whole you search for until you come to the stillness and the silence and the peace. But the path of the heart lies in love, lies in devotion. The connection you feel to the infinite, the passion in your heart for that infinite essence, And it is grace that brings you this passion, this love. It cannot come from your own individual self alone. Because from the blindness of the ego, that love is not seen. There is too much separation. But once that portal is opened, within you, that love floods in, surrounding you, caring for you. And you feel that you are one with the Supreme, one with the Infinite. You feel a wholeness, a unity. A moment, a few moments, an hour, even a day perhaps, where you're surrounded in this bliss, where there is no division, no separation between yourself and the essential essence of being within you. When that 
infinite, intelligent, divine consciousness that is the self of yourself, the self of all beings, is awakened within you. And your awareness sinks into that, away from the dualities of the mind, into the wholeness of being. Then for that moment, you are free. You are whole. without struggle, without limitation. All life is a weaving creation, a weaving in the mind of the infinite, in the infinite awareness of being. The dance of creation is danced. When you step back from the dance into the nature, into the essence in which the dance is danced, you step into the whole that lives in every living being, that lives in every molecule of existence, for all lies within that infinite essence. There is nothing outside of it, nothing separate from it. You are not alone. That divine essence is always your constant companion. Knowingly or unknowingly, you are connected to the whole. You are part of the whole. The separation is an illusion, a trick of the consciousness identified with the body and the body-mind. When you step back into this essence, when you find the love and your heart finds the passion, then you begin the dance of love and connected wholeness to your essential essence. All right. Namaskar. Mm-hmm.